Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our Worm Online, Worm Unlimited tutorial series. Today, we're on the Mythmore server, and we're going to learn about healing ourselves. As you know, Worm is a dangerous place, and if you get caught in the wrong spot, bye-bye. You're off to no man's land through the red portal of death. We're going to learn about healing ourselves with cotton, and making healing covers uh, that increases our rate of healing. So let's get started. First, you want to actually look for resources for healing covers. It's pretty simple. You find a grass tile, you right click, nature, and you forage. Now, my foraging is a little higher so I can specifically look for different resources. And what do we get? You failed to find any resources. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, right? Let's look at the here. I'm actually even interested in doing anything. That's clean anything oh here we go what do we get uh ivy seeds well that's not going to help me if you want to know more about healing covers you can use the in-game wiki go to the stop or start menu or the main menu click on wiki search and you're going to type in healing cover and it's going to be loading and you can see here that it actually gives you an end game uh, you know, just kind of a wiki page about healing cover. The more, the most important thing you're gonna go is on the very bottom. It's gonna tell you which items are high when it comes to healing cover. Now, these are multiplications, so the highest healing cover that you can get is 25, and that would be a black mushroom a gl and a gland together. Luckily for me, I have a black mushroom and gland. We're gonna use that, and I'm gonna also show you a corn and a one and a two is gonna give us a healing cover of. 2, 1 times 2 equals 2, right? But first, let's go get ourselves in trouble. I don't use the starter weapons and shield. Those really stink. I went ahead and created an axe. I improved it to 15, and you can look at my previous tutorials how to improve. So this is my doll. I'm you know, pretty much naked. I don't have any armor. Um, I'm close to my deed, so if I get in trouble, I can run back and my deed, my deed guard, my Templar will save me. Let's pick a fight with this huge spider. I know that I'm not high enough in skill to kill this spider. He will destroy me, but I want him to hurt me a little. He, I want him to hurt me so good. Let's aggro him. Uh, come on, buddy. You can, he'll change his stance. Watch. Oh, there he goes. He just indicated me. Now, if I... I can run 10 kilometers per hour and I will outrun him. So I can technically outrun him at 13 right now if I wanted to. But I'm going to draw him just a little closer to my deed in case I get in trouble. And um, my my deed. Oh, I can kill that dog too. Hey, puppy. Come on, buddy. All right. We're going to call you Charlotte. All right, Charlotte. So we're going to fight Charlotte. I'm not worried about going over what all the details of fighting are. We're just going to go over the details of healing ourselves today. So Charlotte just took a bite out of my arm. You can go to the combat tag. You can see Charlotte takes a bite of your underarm. Oh, here my in my paper doll, I'm starting to highlight all the places I've been hurt, right? If I click on my legs, it tells me I have a bite for seven. And my chest, I have a bite. And you can inspect that too. You can examine it and it will tell you uh, that you have a light bite in the stomach. Okay, that's that's enough. I'm getting out of here. I'm already half health. And I'm going to die. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, Charlotte. Come, come to my Templar. I'm going to pass my deed boundaries. Boom, I enter it. Uh, and now my... <laughs> now my Templar is, is like, what up, mate? He's going to start. There it is. All right. And let's still aggro on me. Let the Templar take him. All right, here we go. All right, Charlotte, adios. We're going to 86 Charlotte's Web. Now, when you do it like this where you have two different people attacking you're gonna get a decrease in your skill fight game but that's okay I'm not worried about that right now you can also use a guard tower guard just by simply typing help in your local chat and as soon as Charlotte okay that's enough I'll let you finish that off okay so oh great I got a rare roll when I killed him I got a rare copper coin that's nice 
I want to heal my, my, my wounds, okay? I have a couple different wounds here. I can activate my cotton. I double click my cotton, okay? And then I can go ahead and right click the wound itself. Or if I right click my whole leg, it will go ahead and auto heal my wound. There it goes. Now you need to make sure you have enough weight in your cotton in order to heal large wounds. And it can tell me it's bandaged now. It's bandaged. But, you know, maybe it's a severe wound. Maybe I'm, I'm really hurting and I need it to heal more. Now, different levels of hurt. Um, there's different levels of healing. And you, we can look up healing in the wiki and you can read more about it. It kind of goes beyond the scope of this uh, tutorial. Um, but... Severe wounds and medium wounds should probably always have healing covers. They heal faster. So let's go ahead and make a small healing cover. We're going to use a, a wemp, plant, and garlic. So you're going to activate the wemp and right click on the garlic, go to alchemy, and you're just going to mix. The lore is uh, not implemented right now, so don't worry about that. And I'm mixing these two. I'm pretty much just, you know, bashing them together, manning them together, creating some sort of healing cover, like a primitive state. Uh, probably in the, you know, the kind of the same way of, I don't know, making mud and putting mud over your wound. There it is, my, my healing cover. Now, if I inspect this or examine this, it will tell me, oops, it will tell me, uh, you know, what the ingredients, oh, it doesn't tell me what the ingredients are. But if I go ahead, I'm going to activate my healing cover. I'm going to put it over this bite, right-click, treat, Let's go ahead and treat this wound. When I treat this wound, it's going to tell me the potency of my healing cover. That's what I was looking for. 20 seconds. And then we're going to look at the, different, the potency of this went plant in the garlic. And then also of the black mushroom and the gland. So we'll go ahead and cue that up right now. Alchemy. We're going to... Activate the black mushroom, right click on the gland, alchemy, mix. Uh, you treat the wound with the healing cover. And if you can lo really look, I have a white, dot, a white square and a green square. The white square is bandaged. The green square uh, means that it, it's being treated with the healing cover. Now I want to examine this wound. I'm going to examine. And it tells me it is covered with healing plant potency 2. Oh, I failed to create a, that healing cover. So let's try, let's see if we can make another one here. Let's mix this. Now wounds do heal and they heal at different rates. Um, a light wound, I usually don't put a healing cover over it. Maybe I'll use cotton because it takes away from my stamina bar. Uh, but for sure medium and severe wounds, I do put a healing cover over it. Now when you use a band-aid or a, a cotton to bandage a wound, it will decrease, so this damage is 9 right now. I'm going to go ahead and treat this. And it's going to go from a light to probably very light. Let's see how much it actually heals. I think depending on your healing skills, it depends on how much. All right, so it went from 9 to a 3.7. It's very light. It's going to get done here. Every 10 minutes, you have a healing tick. And so in 10 minutes, that will be completely gone. My first aid is now 12. I need to heal this guy because... I mean, this is a medium wound. Look at that, 22. That's what I should have used my healing cover on. Uh, let's see if it goes down to light. If it goes down to light, that's great. Now, medium wounds won't get worse. Uh, they'll just, they may get better depending on where they are, depending how well your healing is. But uh, severe wounds will get worse, and eventually they'll just kill you. So I need to get, I need to get a, healing cover for for this let's see what i have in my and like my my little stores here on my my vagabond deed uh let's go ahead and make one out of what do we say rosemary and corn that might work i don't oh we have a black mushroom here let's do a black mushroom and rosemary so black mushroom and rosemary black mushrooms potency of five Rosemary is a potency of 4. This should give me a healing cover potency of 20 if I succeed to put it, make it and then put it on. 
Now the higher quality of the healing cover means a success of treating your wound. The lower quality means that you won't get, um, it's a decreased chance to actually apply that healing cover. Got 20 seconds left. So it's pretty simple, right? You go out, you fight, you have a whole bag of cotton. Maybe you bring, you know, 10 kilograms of cotton with you and you just fight galore. Stay around the town if you want to use the town guards. If not, go on your own. And, uh, you know, if you die, that's okay. Oh, and I treated it. And if I examine it, it tells me healing 20. So I would say probably about 10 minutes that's going to go away. That's the basics of healing, guys. Get some cotton. Get a good weapon. Go out and kill things. Thanks for watching. Again, join us on the Mythmore server. You can come visit my deed. I'm just straight north. There's the town with the pretty little lights. I'm just straight north. Come visit me. Thanks.